Hi and welcome to Tabletop Gaming, my name is Charlie and today we are back at Trading Card Tuesdays which means only one thing, that we are looking at more trading card stuff. And in this case it's a Pokemon thing, which to be honest has been the majority of what we're doing, but it won't always be, I promise. Now I picked this up from Costco of all places and I'm super excited to unbox, so join me as we take a look inside this. Now this is described as a treasure chest packed with Pokemon. It is a three pack. I'm supposed to be able to get a sturdy metal case containing more than a dozen special Pokemon goodies not found anywhere else. Uh, there is a collector's chest that includes all sorts of booster packs, portfolios, stickers, um, and three Pokemon booster packs and a Pokemon coin inside the tins too. So you wanna just, we've got one big tin here, one big tin here, and a lunchbox in the middle. I am very excited as to what we're gonna get in here. Now, I know this is gonna be some slightly older stuff. Um, so I don't know whether this will fit in the sets that I've been roughly collecting already, um, but they're all Pokemon cards, so who really minds? Now, of course, you will have seen that they are focused on Eevee. I don't know how much inside will include Eevees, whether there's anything proprietary, but we do obviously have our initial three, which have this very cute little holographic-y style images on them. I think they've done really, really nicely with the artwork that's included on those. We'll rescue those straight away. So that, for me, makes it sort of worth the set regardless. Um, I don't like how they've been kept because they're slightly bent, um, but I may be able to just, you know, iron that out, it's fine. Not literally iron, you know what I mean. So, let's try and free these things from their characters. There's got to be a better way to do this, right? Update, there kind of isn't. It's just, it's just. So, we have a tin. I can hear the ball in there already. We have a lunchbox, which has got some good weight to it, I would say. And then we've got the other pokey tin as well. So, regardless, I'm gonna have cool new storage stuff because we're gonna have these and the tins. So, should we take a look and see what's inside? We will start with the lunchbox because I think this has got most of the stuff in, but I will very quickly point out that I've noticed there is a dent in the back of my Pokeball. How disappointing. I specifically wanted one of these ones and I'm quite gutted that that one's dented, but it's fine. This isn't the kind of thing that I'm keeping to collect in order to sell on, so it's just for me, so it's cute. It'll look good on my shelf. That's all we need. Now, I should in this get some promo cards and five booster packs, so we'll open those as we go. And then we've got this cute little Eevee design. Do you know, there is a massive chunk of me that at age 28, 27? I can't remember. Age, whatever age I am, um, that wants to use this as my actual work lunchbox. And I don't think, to be honest, in the environment that I work in, anyone would mind. Here she is in all her glory without the plastic on. And are you ready for this? Are you ready? Let's have a look. And then, da, 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 da. the other way around. Who opens a lunchbox that way around? That's asking for trouble. Okay, cool. So we've got our cool coin at the top and then we've also got the three promotional ones that they mentioned there, which is very cool because I have these as VMAXs from the um, tins that are specifically for them, um, but I don't have them on their own and they do look fabulous. Very, very sparkly as well, which is super cute. Now, okay, so let's see what packs we got. Oh, we've got a good mixture. Okay, so we have two from Chilling Rain. We have one from Vivid Voltage. We have Rebel Clash and then we have Sword and Shield as well. So actually, I was a little bit worried that, I don't know where I read something that suggested these were gonna be really old, um, that they wouldn't be in the sets I'm in, but all of those are part of sets that I've got stuff in, mostly from ETBs, of course. Um, and then, of course, I have an online code, which presumably will give me the Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon. Who knows? Who knows with the online trading game? I've yet to understand what's going on. Then we have, oh my God, we've got stickers. Oh, we've got lots of stickers. Okay, so each of those, are a sticker, I've got little Eevees, those are stickers. There are cute little extras, look at those, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, and normal Eevee as well. Oh. Now, the only thing is that I'm always, I love stickers, I love being given stickers, I love having stickers, but I never really know where to stick them, because then once they're stuck, that's forever. Um, so, you know, I'm that person. Got a super cute little notepad, we'll be keeping that too, and a, Teeny tiny little card folder holder. How cute is that? 
So let's be honest, a pretty good haul already. I'm quite pleased with that. Now, I seem to remember paying about £60 for this. I can't remember how much it was because that's how long I hold on to things so that you guys can actually see what I'm opening. Um, but so far we've got five packs, a tin and a couple of, um, sort of promotional stuff. So cool, but not necessarily cool enough, maybe. So let's close the tin and let's move on to our other two, which, do you know what? I'm a bit concerned as to how dented this is going to be when I finally get the cards out of it. So, do you know what? Let's find out. Oh, oh yeah, that's helpful. Good shot. Rubbish on the floor as always. That is later Charlie's problem. Okay, so, we pop it open. Da, 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 da. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Ah, okay. So, this is potentially where I was thinking about the slightly older cards because this is a Cosmic Eclipse card, which will be the first of this style of one that I've collected. They only really came in um, Evolving Skies and then an ETB after that and then Celebrations, 100%, 110% Celebrations. I've opened a, a Fusion Strike and I've got the new ones coming in future, but I've never gone as far back as this one. So this will be interesting to unbox, this will be my only ones of that set. Um, but the others are Rebel Clash and Vivid Voltage. So I don't have many of Rebel, Cla Rebel Clash, but I do have a lot of Vivid Voltage. So then the little card inside, look at this little guy, which is just plain cute. Now, that's one of them down. I expect we're gonna see exactly the same in the other one, um, but we don't know necessarily which booster packs we're gonna get. So let's do those. Okay, so here we have it. And if we pop it open, I'm expecting to see she says exactly the same thing again, which is more. So, what have we got? Oh, we've got no um, coin in that one, which is interesting because we've got a coin in that one, but not in this one. Oh no, tell a lie, it was just hidden. There we go. So we have exactly the same. We've got Vivid Voltage, we've got Rebel Clash, and we've got Cosmic Eclipse on there too. Quite excited about opening Cosmic Eclipse. I don't want to sort of start something when I've already like, you know, I don't want to start collecting another one, like I'm, I'm addicted enough. Um, but it's always nice to see different cards and considering uh, that we also play the game, um, there's no harm in having extra ones really, let's be honest. So, what you're more interested, I would imagine, is seeing what's inside these. So let's have a look, because what are we on? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, I mean, if you think, eleven at like what would you say, four or five quid each, depending on where, when and where and such. Um, it's about £55 if we're being generous. So it's not the end of the world because you've got the promo ones as well, you've got the little knickknacks and you've got the tins that come with it. Um, was it worth 60 quid? Maybe not, maybe not, something to consider. But if we get some epic pulls out of this, I won't feel too bitter about it. So, you know, let's take a look. Okay, so let's work backwards. Let's start with Sun and Moon. Um, this was the game, I've played a lot of Pokemon games in my time and Sun and Moon was the one where I went, yes, absolutely, yes. And I don't know what clicked about it for me, but this was the one. So excited to see what's in here, if I can get into it, because this is the hardest it's been to get into one ever. There we go. So if we, Take away the code, one, two, three, to the front. This one should be an energy. Yes, it is. I've been watching Max Mofo too much and I can now do the card trick, ha! So let's have a look. We've got a Mimikyu, which is super cool. I like those. A Beastite, a Lilith, a Rolet, a Phantom, a Grimer, a Magnemite, an Eevee, and I can just sort of see the little outline there that says I've got something cool. A Steelix, oh, and it's pretty. And a tag team. Togepi and Cleffa and Igglybuff. That's cool. Now, interestingly, I don't know if these are still tournament legal. I would imagine that they're not, which would be a shame, but they're cool enough to keep. Like, they're cool looking cards. Um, so not against that at all. And those look, those look cool. I like those. Okay, so first one down. Yeah, yeah, pretty happy. Where's my other one? There's my other one. So we start with Missy and Lorelei. We've got Pyroar, that's really cool. We've got Throw, we've got Jangmu, Jangmu, ja I don't know, Rolet, Scrap, Pikachu. Oh, that's quite cute. He looks very stroppy and I find that endearing. Uh, Tedasaur, Natu, 
in Pretty One, and Heliolisk. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so less exciting than the first one, but the first one did set us off to a really good start, so not complaining. Uh, we'll do the solo Sword and Shield one that I've got next. Hitmonlee, we've got Bead, we've got Ordinary Rod, we've got Yamper, we've got Silicobra, Score Bunny, Cotney, we've got Ponyta, Galarian Ponyta, uh, Sinistee, and Claydol. Now, I think these ones are tournament legal. I'm looking at the little mark in the bottom that tells me um, that sort of it's in which rotation, and I don't know what's in rotation right now, but I believe these ones are. So, all is good. Now, keep going. We have Rebel Clash. We have Electrode, Beware. Palisand, Voltorb, Dreepy, FYI, playing from the, I want to say it's in the Neuvern deck, it might not be in the Neuvern deck, it might be in the Rayquaza one, there is a there is a theme deck that has Dreepy and um, Dragapult and Dracloakin, and oh my goodness, when you can get all of those loaded up, they are stellar, they need hardly any energy, and they work great. Um, Growlith, Snova, Binacle, Galarian Weezing, and Alchemy, so nothing exciting, apart from the fact that I've got an extra Dreepy in there, because I like the Dreepies. So we have Twin Energy, Phalanx, Masquerain, Applin, Daramuka, Bunnelby, Vulpix, Phantom, a Galarian Daramaka. Ooh, and a Melotic V. Oh, that's very cool. This deck does 50 more damage for each star in the opponent's active retreat. That's pretty cool. And Hypno Slash. There we go. This will be the first card that I will play with, because I will play with this one, um, that sends a Pokemon to sleep. So I'll have to work out what the rules are for that and how that works. I imagine it's like flip a coin and something happens, but um, I don't know that for certain, so I look forward to finding out. Let me know in the comments before I Google this out. Right, last of this set, and we've been doing okay with this set so far, so fingers crossed for more. So we have Nugget. You can play this card if you drip it before you deck at the beginning of the turn. <laughs> we have Skuntank, Morpeko, Phantump, Bunnelby, Dreepy again. I do like my Dreepies. Farfetched, Hot Edge. Skunk tank? Did I not just... Two in the same pack? Is that normal? I swear I've never had the same... Oh, I don't know. And then double V. Oh my goodness. This deck does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. That's pretty solid as an attack. I like that. And who knew that double was important enough to get a V? I love it. I mean, it's three out of six so far, which is a better hit rate than what I feel like I normally get. More! We're into vivid voltage this time. So, we have some stone energy. We have Electric, uh, Kakuna, Nikanda, Wizma, Drillaba, Whalema, love a Whalema, uh, Cottonly, Joltik, he looks super funky, and a Xerneas, which I think is one of Bam, who you've also seen on this channel, one of her favourites. Um, so that's quite cool. Nothing to get too excited about. So we have a Drone Rotom, we have a Swoobat, a Loudred, a Blitzel, a Slugma, a Beldum, a Micellary, a Woofer, a Sturgistabath, Kirkistabath, and a Leon. Last from the Voltage before we move on to the two Chilling Rain ones. Here we go, we have Hero's Medal, we have Stunfisk, Sableye, Puchenya, Charmander, yay! I always like getting a Charmander, I like getting the originals because it just feels nice. Uh, a Chatot, a Joltik, a Cotney. A Raikou? He looks very cool. This deck does also does 120 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Oh, that's nice. That does need three different types of energy though, which is probably why, but it's that's a nice card. Uh, and a Ninjask, which is cool. It's the final two! And they are both chilling rain. Okay, here we go. We have a single strike scroll of piercing, and I've been playing with the Urshifu single strike deck, and I can tell you it's pretty cool. I do prefer rapid strike, but single strike is great too. Uh, we have Melanie, we have Expedition Uniform, we have Blitzel, Quillfish, Slowpoke, Clobopus, Mareep. Single strike Urshifu, it's like it heard me, but delightful. And, ooh, a Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max which is great because I'm 90% sure I pulled a V over Christmas period uh, on some of the stuff that I'd got. So that is delightful. And I might even already have that one actually. And I might be, that might be a, an additional, um, which I hope means that's because it's cool and not because everybody has it and nobody cares about it. But you know, fingers crossed. Last one. I can also tell you there's nothing more disappointing than the last one and it's showing you this color. This is not the color we want, but here we go, we have Agatha, it was her all along. Uh, Flannery, Old Cemetery, Lavesta, Inkay, Rockruff, a Ghastly, a Ladybug, a Larion, and a Bonnet. Which, 
not the most exciting to end on. There were cooler things in here, but overall, pretty cool. Would I buy this again? Probably not in this set. Do I like opening stuff? Yes. So, not a bad day at the office at all. Um, and I got a lunchbox out of it, so expect to see me travelling to work with my little lunchbox in hand. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check out tabletopgaming.co.uk where we hail from. We have everything you could need from a magazine to a mystery box. Honestly, if you like this stuff, you're going to want to check it out. So head that way. I will pop the link in the description. Please do click and let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought of these. Let me know if you have any advice for a new Pokemon collector. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and see you next week.